The Thayer Barn is the last remaining dairy barn standing within the Duval city limits in the Snoqualmie River Valley. The Thayer Barn was built in the 30s. It is part of the heritage of this valley and, and Duval, and it was a kit barn, and there were lots of them around, and this is one of the few remaining ones. 1934, the barn was shipped out from Sears and Roebuck, their barn catalog and in 1935 they stopped doing the barn catalog. It was during the Depression and all built by hand. The Thayer Barn is significant to us because it is the last dairy barn within the city limits of Duval, Washington. Efforts to preserve the barn are not new. A decade ago, notice went out to the community that the property would be sold for redevelopment. A local group rallied to save the barn. Ten years ago, the Duval Foundation for the Arts led the community in raising money to move the barn. We were challenged by the city council to raise money and quickly, so we did that. So we still have that money. But the deal fell through, with the barn sitting untended since then. Earlier this year, the property did indeed sell, and plans for a housing development are moving forward. Project sponsors have shown a willingness to incorporate the barn into the new development, provided local advocates can come up with the needed funds. The scenario that is talked about and seems the most likely and we're hoping for is there will be a plat of about an acre, maybe a little bit more, designated for this. The city will own it. We'll put the barn on it and try to raise some money and get it functioning. I think that the barn could be restored beautifully. I think it could be done with some community involvement. Uh, I've been thinking about how to include either teenagers or high school kids or something in a portion of the work. There's definitely an opportunity for it to be a community project. I think when you get children involved in doing historic restoration, it's, it's your opportunity to give them kind of an appetite for what it feels like to take something old and fix it up and make it good. At present, the biggest threat is time. Once permitting for the project is complete, redevelopment will go forward with or without the barn. And given the structure's level of deterioration, whether it would survive another rainy winter season remains a question. Given the age of the barn and, and what kind of condition it's in, the weather is a constant threat. The enthusiasm and the questions about the barn have never gone away. Everyone always asks, what's going on with the Thayer barn? Are we going to save it? We see it as a place for, for gallery space, a display place for local art and classes, music. We have a very active uh, youth program of arts. The desired outcome is to create a community center for the citizens of Duval and the farmers and the artists. We feel that it's important for us to have a large area that we can meet, that we can have functions, that could be a year-round meeting place. It has been done and it has been done successfully. I have a passion for barns. They're really special and they're going away. You know, everybody drives across the country, they see them all falling down. It feels good to be able to take one that's special and give it some new roots and a new life. It's so unique and yet it speaks to the valley. So there's, there's both sides. It speaks to the history and the people that have been here before. It supports the arts and I think it would just be a, a centerpiece.